In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on June 6, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games, so six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released, so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games. After after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Atlanta Braves vs. Washington Nationals As the weekend approaches, we are eagerly anticipating an exciting four-game series in the National League East, where the Atlanta Braves will face off against the Washington Nationals. This matchup promises to bring a lot of action and drama as these two teams battle it out on the diamond. The Atlanta Braves have been improving their gameplay recently and are determined to avenge their previous series loss to the Nationals, where they dropped three out of four games. Currently, the Braves have won three of their last four games, while the Nationals have lost three of their last four. Despite dealing with injuries, the Braves have been adjusting well to their new lineup and will be supported by a strong starting pitcher, Reynaldo Lopez. Boasting one of the best earned run averages in baseball at 1.73, has been a standout performer, not allowing more than two earned runs in any of his last five starts. Lopez will be facing a Washington team that ranks 23rd in run production and 27th in home runs, which positions him well to suppress their offense. Additionally, Atlanta's team earned run average ranks 8th in baseball, contributing to the likelihood of a low-scoring game for Washington. In contrast, Washington's Mitchell Parker has struggled with a higher earned run average, giving up at least three runs in each of his last four starts. This Thursday night showdown in the National League East is poised to be thrilling, but from a betting standpoint, the choice seems clear. I favor the Braves minus 1.5 due to their significant pitching advantage. Reynaldo Lopez will take the mound, having delivered outstanding performances over his last five starts, amassing a 1.98 earned run average and a 1.17 WHIP over 27.1 innings in May. Meanwhile, Mitchell Parker, although having a decent season with a 3.6 earned run average, has seen his earned run average rise to 4.7 over his last four starts, covering 23 innings. One of those outings was a quality start against the Braves, where he pitched 6.1 innings and allowed three earned runs. Therefore, the Atlanta Braves' money line is our full-game side pick. Reynaldo Lopez has been exceptional at minimizing runs in his recent outings. Over his last five starts, he has not allowed more than two earned runs and has not given up a single home run. His road earned run average remains impressive at 2.49, and he will be facing one of the league's weakest offenses. The Nationals rank in the bottom 10 across almost all offensive categories, with their top hitter batting only .267. Furthermore, no player on their team has reached double-digit home runs this season, and they have struggled to produce consistent offensive numbers. Numbers. The Braves have seen the total go under in four of Lopez's last five starts, aided by a strong bullpen. Atlanta is poised to dominate this game on the road. One of the primary issues for the Nationals this season has been their offense. As of Wednesday night, they rank 23rd in team batting average, 27th in OPS, and 29th in home runs. Now, they face Lopez, who could potentially be a dark horse candidate for the Cy Young Award this season. Given these statistics, I do not expect much offensive production from Washington in this match. Up. In a recent game on May 27, Parker limited the Braves to three earned runs. However, the Atlanta offense has not been performing at its usual high level, ranking 22nd in team batting average and 19th in OPS over the last 15 days. Given these figures, it is unlikely they will have a breakout performance. Thus, under on the projected total is our full game total pick. Minnesota Twins vs. New York Yankees On Thursday, June 6, the Yankees and the Twins will face off in the final game of their three-game series. The Yankees boast an impressive 44-19 overall record, leading both the American League East Division and the league. Having secured victories in the first two games of the series, New York is aiming for a sweep against Minnesota. Their recent performance has been stellar, winning 11 of their last 13 games. In contrast, the Twins are struggling, with a 33-28 record and losses in three of their last four games. In the series opener, Gill's dominant performance kept the Yankees comfortably at the top of the American League East standings by shutting down the Twins' offense. The upcoming pitching duel presents a different scenario. Lopez, with an earned run average close to 
to five, has struggled significantly, while Stroman has shown his usual strong start to the season. However, the question remains whether Stroman can sustain his early season momentum or if he will experience a mid-season slump. Both pitchers are expected to regress to their mean performances. Lopez's FIP earned run average of 3.8 suggests he's been somewhat unlucky, while Stroman's FIP earned run average of 4.43 indicates he's been fortunate so far. Despite Lopez's efforts, the Yankees' powerful lineup is likely too formidable to contain, especially in Yankee Stadium, often referred to as the house that Ruth built. It's challenging to find a team that can match the Yankees' prowess when playing at home in the Bronx. Given their current form and offensive firepower, the Yankees are the clear favorites and should secure a comfortable victory, potentially by several runs. Minnesota has not demonstrated much competitiveness in this series, while the Yankees have looked like the best team in baseball. Therefore, the New York Yankees' money line is our full game side pick. The Yankees' offense is among the best in the league, and they are expected to score heavily in this game, particularly at home. Marcus Stroman has not performed as well at home compared to his road games, which could give the Twins some scoring opportunities on Thursday. This matchup is likely to be high scoring. Thus, over the projected total is our full game total pick. Arizona Diamondbacks vs. San Diego Padres The Arizona Diamondbacks are set to embark on a journey to Petco Park in San Diego, California, where they will go head-to-head -head against the San Diego Padres. Presently, Arizona holds a record of 29 wins and 33 losses for the season placing them in the seventh position within the National League standings. Meanwhile, the San Diego Padres occupy the fifth spot in the National League, boasting a record of 32 wins and 32 losses. Notably, during the 2023 season, the San Diego Padres maintained a 6-7 record against the Diamondbacks. In their recent encounters on the road against the Padres, the Arizona Diamondbacks have demonstrated prowess, securing victories in four out of their last five matchups. Despite this, the forthcoming game appears to be evenly poised with odds suggesting the San Diego Padres as favorites with a minus 130 margin. However, upon closer inspection, the performance of both teams suggests a more balanced contest. While pitching has been a challenge, both sides have excelled offensively. Given the historical context, the Diamondbacks hold a slight advantage, making the Arizona Diamondbacks' money line our full-game side pick. The starting pitching tandem of Slade Ciccone and Randy Vasquez has grappled with yielding home runs throughout the current season. Additionally, Petco Park ranks third in the StatCast Park Factors leaderboard for home runs. Should Ciccone and Vasquez continue to encounter difficulties, coupled with uncertainties in the bullpen, the likelihood of witnessing more than eight runs on the scoreboard increases significantly. Reflecting on past matchups, in May, the Padres clinched victory in two out of three games against the Diamondbacks at Chase Field, with two of these games witnessing double-digit runs. Notably, the total score has exceeded expectations in four out of the last five encounters between Arizona and San Diego. In their most recent five games, both the Arizona Diamondbacks and the San Diego Padres have showcased tendencies towards high-scoring affairs, with over-under records of 4-1 to one each. With offensive prowess overshadowing pitching excellence, the inclination leans towards surpassing the projected total score for the upcoming game. Hence, over the projected total is our full-game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.